Hello everyone, my name is Oshi Gupta and today we will be learning and discussing about HCD. HCD is a distributed key value store that is source the data that can be accessed by a distributed system. HCD is one of the important components of Kubernetes architecture as it is source the state of the cluster. HCD is an open source project and is currently maintained by CNCF. Initially, HCD was developed at CoreOS, which is a Linux kernel based operating system. There is also an interesting story on how HCD got its name. In HCD, etc stands for uh, slash etc directory of a Unix system where many configuration files are present. And this stands for distributed as these configuration files can be shared among multiple machines. HCD follows a algorithm that is known as raft which is also known as consensus algorithm which means you agree on some state of values like in this diagram you can see there are three hcds in which hcd1 is asking to be a leader uh, from the other two hcds within a particular time constraint as soon as the hcd1 becomes a leader the three of them start interacting with each other in a particular fashion more about uh, raft algorithm can be find out here before seeing about the features of hcd let's set up the lab for hcd by clicking on this lab setup button which will create a lab for us hcd provides certain features like uh, simple interface which means with the help of some http tools such as curl values can be read and written in hcd it is also key value storage which means data in hcd can be stored in hierarchical structure it also allows to keep a watch on key to observe changes it also provides ssl client certificate authentication and one of the important feature is that hcd also comes with a command line tool that is hcd ctl to interact with hcd server now we will be doing some hands on with hcd by first installing the hcd binary and then interacting with hcd server with the help of hcd ctl command line tool and then after this we will set up a local keynote hcd cluster so as our lab got set up now we will be installing hcd by running this shell script file which will install hcd for us as soon as the hcd got installed we will also see the version of hcd and hcd ctl uh, that is a command line tool by executing these two commands now for uh, doing basic interaction with hcd we will first start the hcd server and then for basic interaction first we will create a key with the help of hcd ctl put command here i am going to create a certain keys first key i am going to create will be a key with key 1 and its value bar 1 similarly i am going to create a new key pair with key key 2 and its value bar 2 and then a key with name color and its value blue the next operation is to retrieve a key the key can be retrieved by executing hcdctl get command here i am going to retrieve key 1 uh, along with its value uh, the key can also be retrieved in the form of hexadecimal format by specifying hex flag what if i only wanted to print the value of key and not the name of key so it can be done by specifying print value only flag. This keys can also be uh, get deleted by executing hcdctl del command which will return a number which shows how many keys you have currently deleted. So as for as far now I have deleted only one key that is color so it's returning me on, on uh, number one. The next operation is batch queries. What if I had uh, keys some sum of a uh, similar name and I want to retrieve them all uh, so it can be done by specifying prefix flag and the name of the common keyword of that key earlier I had created key1 and key2 keys in which key keyword is common so I'm going to specify that keyword it will give me the name of the uh, keys along with their values here I am getting key1 and its value bar1 similarly getting another key that is key2 and its value bar2 the next operation is to put a lease on a key, means to put a timer on a key which is used to manage temporary keys, for example to keep a watch on Kubernetes events. This lease can be granted by executing hcdctl lease grant command. Here I am going to uh, grant a lease for 100 seconds which will return me a 
list ID which I can use it further to manage those keys. Now I'm going to stop the server by executing pre kill command. As of now, we have seen uh, how to start the etcd server and do some basic interaction with it. Now I'm going to set up a local etcd cluster. For this, I will be going to use Gorman, which manages file based applications. A profile is generally a set of commands that can be run by an application at the start. So for this, uh, is Gorman installation can be done by executing below these two commands, which will install Gorman for us. Now moving that Gorman to uh, user local bin directory. After moving, uh, Gorman installation can be checked by executing Gorman command, which will uh, open a guide which commands can be used with Gorman. Now we will be seeing about profile like what uh, different details of cluster it currently has so on executing uh, cat profile command you can see it has a uh, three process name that is hcd1 hcd2 and hcd3 with path of hcd being uh, specified and the name of nodes on which these processes will be running that is node 1 node 2 and node 3 also uh, the U respective urls have been specified of uh, each node along with other nodes on which they will be doing peer-to-peer -peer communication. As you can see, the uh, official HCD ports are 2379 for client request, which you can see from here. And for peer-to-peer -peer communication, the official port is 2380. Now I'm going to start the Gorman by running Gorman start to start interacting with the cluster. Uh, now, I'm going to print out the uh, member of the cluster in a tabular format by executing this command. As you can see, the, there are three nodes along with their respective peer and client addresses. HCD uses raft algorithm, which is also very efficient for fault tolerance testing. So, I'm go also going to do a fault tolerance testing on these uh, nodes of the cluster. For this, I'm going to stop one of the processes. Uh, let's say hcd2. So I'm going to stop the hcd2 process by running gorman run stop command. Then I'm going to put a key with the help of put hcdctl put command on this cluster and going to retrieve that key. And now I'm going to retrieve that key from the process that I have stopped that is hcd2. So the port number for hcd2 is you can see here is 22379. So I'm going to specify that port number here with the endpoints flag. So it will give me an error because this process has been stopped. So it will not be able to retrieve that key for me. It's creating an error. I'm going to restart that uh, stopped member that is hcd2 by running gorman run restart command and then I am again going to retrieve that key from that same process. As you can see that I am getting the key along with its value. Also, uh, TLS certificate can be configured with HCD uh, about which you can find out here. In this hands-on lab, we have learned about HCD with its basic command and learned how to set up a 3 node local HCD cluster. And also we have done an interaction with it. Thank you.